Ooh, darn. Ooh, you're a very dirty girl, but you're a very pretty girl. And uh, look at this. Look at all this dirt. Y'all can't see it if I, you know, zoom out a little bit, but my car is looking pretty nice today. Well, other than the dirt and all that stuff, but ooh, carbon fiber. But yeah. What's up everybody, it's PJ with another video for you guys and today we're going to be doing something special and something that's long overdue for the car and yeah, I'm looking at it, she's going to be changing something today. Okay, so in this box, I have something that's gonna make my car look a hundred times better in my opinion. A lot of y'all will probably agree with me, even though I could've went a different route. I could've went two different routes, but I chose these because I couldn't pass this up on the price. And let me show y'all, let me just go ahead and open the box and show y'all what's in it. Yeah, don't, uh, don't talk about me. I already know, but boom, went with some more springs, lowering springs, JDM Sport lowering springs to be exact. And I did not go with coilovers because like I said, I didn't want to pass up the price on these. It is close to Christmas time and I've been spending a lot of my money on, you know, Christmas gifts to my family for Kiera and just uh, different people. And these seem to be the best thing for your buck. So I went on ahead and got them. And they didn't come with anything other than the spring. So I guess I used all stock hardware other than these. But done, you're finally gonna be lowered after today. And I'm gonna need to go get an alignment. So that's why I started pretty early. Well, I mean, it is about noon now, but I started pretty early so I can go ahead and get this taken care of before I went down the road to try to get an alignment. And just to let y'all know, this is not gonna be by any means a how-to video. It's just gonna be a how I did this video. So you can take from it what you want, the good and the bad, but uh, I wouldn't advise you to do exactly the things that I'm gonna do because for one thing, I don't have a spring compressor, so Y'all might not want to uh, follow what I'm going to do with that. But first things first, I need to get the car all jacked up. I'm going to do the fronts first. And let me go ahead and jack this thing up and get started with this. Okay, so once you have the car jacked up and the wheels off, you're gonna wanna just look under here, see what you got. As you can see, everything looks stock. This is the R-Spec, by the way, so I think the springs and the shocks are a bit stiffer than, let's say, the regular model, the base model, or the Grand Touring model. But don't quote me to that, but I think they are. To get this strut out, I believe it's only gonna be four bolts. You see this one bolt right here holding the end link up. And then these two bolts holding the, what is this, the rotor assembly or brake assembly or whatever it is, holding this onto the strut. And then there's this one bolt right here, if you can see it, that's holding this brake line onto the strut. And once all of that's undone, then you could just unbolt the three on the top hat, which I'm gonna show y'all whenever I'm done with disassembling all of this. So now I have everything disassembled from the bottom and the strut is just hanging by the bolts that are on top. So, time to go under the hood. Let's see what we got. This is the top hat and we're just gonna undo these three bolts. Well, I forgot I have to take off the strut tower brace, but other than the strut tower brace, we have these three bolts to take off and then we should be able to just pull the strut out from the bottom. And 
strut number one. I'm not gonna show you guys me actually doing the passenger side just because, I mean, I, sh I can show you on this side and then uh, I'll just do the passenger side off camera, but yep, this is strut number one. Now, all I have to do is call for care actually because we're gonna have to get this top hat off of here. And like I said, this is not a how to, this is how I did it. So take from it what you wanna take from it. But this part comes a little tedious and uh, I'm not really fond of how I'm gonna do it, but I've done it previously and nothing happened on my previous Genesis. So let me go ahead and get Kiera out here. Don't stand right in front of it because it's a spring. So you got it? Mm -hmm. Move your knee. Your knee. Yeah. Your knee pressed. Ooh, I'm nervous. Uh, yeah. Just like that, it's all over there. It ain't look too dangerous, did it? Mm. Don't try that. Hey, a lot of people tell you don't try that, so don't try that. Okay, huh? It's still recording. It's still recording. All right, now that I got that off, now I could just remove this top hat from the spring if it'll come off Ugh. all right that spring is off of there this is a new spring quite a bit shorter quite a bit look like about an inch shorter but the reason i didn't get those uh spring compressors are because like i said and like i just showed y'all i don't really care for that so i don't really need it but now to figure out how I'm gonna put this on here, because I don't know which side of the top. Oh wait, never mind. It says it on here. Ugh. All right. It look good though. It's pretty self-explanatory once you figure out what's the top because there's a little groove that the spring came out of. I don't think it's gonna stay because it's not like greased on there and grimed on there, but this is pretty much how it goes on. And then you pretty much just put it back over like the other one came off. this height I'm so ready for this to settle in some oh especially with the spaces on there oh that's gonna look good y'all probably can see it from that angle but it's gonna look good oh a lot better than it was look at this I'm not a semi anymore even though it's still oh, it's my water way over there even though, like like I said, it's gonna settle down a little more, but this was a lot more than it is now, and I'm grateful for this drop. 
I just need to go ahead and complete the back and then I should be able to go get some shots for y'all. Oh yeah, by the way, I do not recommend using the spacers that I use just because like they aren't bad quality or anything. These are what I previously had on my other Genesis, but they do take away from the threads for your lugs and this is a temporary fix. Uh, I just wanted to see what it looked like with these 10 millimeter spacers on here, but I don't know. I need to go ahead and get some good spacers that actually have different studs on them so I can go ahead and get all the threads that I need for these lugs because, you know, I'm not trying to be running around here all not safe and things, especially driving this car as my daily. But, time for the back. Alright, for the back, they should be a lot simpler than the front. Notice I didn't say easier, but simpler. I believe all you have to do is undo these two bolts for the control arm and then this one bolt for the rear sway bar and well end links and whatnot and uh then you should be able to just pry this down and the spring should want to come out but yeah i believe that's all there is to doing these back ones so i'm about to go ahead and try to do what i just told y'all Once you get those three bolts out, what I did was put both of these bolts back in through nothing but the other side and then get yourself a pry bar of some sort. I'm just using my half inch drive socket wrench and I'm just gonna pry down like so, put it in between the two and pry down and the spring should wanna come out. Yeah, see, it's coming out right there. Yep, but that's the spring, it's pretty much out. I just need to finagle this thing out of here and hold on let me put the camera down and this side is almost done there it is Bruh, this car, it looks a lot better. It could settle down a little bit more. But let, me, let me just show you. But look, it could settle down a little bit more, but I can't complain with this. Ooh, I like that a lot, especially how I got the spaces in the front. But look at the car, look at the thing. I did the thing, look at it. Ooh. Come on, settle down a little bit more. Just a little bit, a little bit more. But I actually am not one of the big fans of the tire being tucked under the quarter panel. Sorry about that, but that's just not me. I'm not all TJ Hunt hot boy style and all that. But like I said, I can't complain with how the car came out. I did go with the cheaper JDM Sport Springs just because on my last Genesis, I, even, I had eBay Springs. They were Speed Daddy or something like that. I know that's that's my fault, but uh, I mean, I believe these are gonna be better. Like I said, the drastic change from going from a stock base 3.8 
to uh, stiff springs. It's not gonna be that bad just because these R spec springs were already kind of stiff, but I don't know. I think I know what I'm talking about. If I don't, then just let me know in the comment section. But this just about wraps up the video. I cannot stop looking at my car, sorry. This just about wraps up the video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below and let me know your spring and shock setup on your cars. Or if you have coilovers, bags, or if you cut the stock springs. I don't really care, I just wanna know. Share this video with your friends and family or anybody that you know that may be looking to get in these springs and show them just how a Genesis will sit on these springs. I'm about to try to use the rest of the daylight that I have to quickly wash my car, even though it's probably going to rain tomorrow. So, yeah, like I said, this is just about wraps up the video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching. <laughs>